Hello and welcome back to our study of Pnei Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Yezer Malamed, Shlita. We find ourselves at the end of the week and the beginning of a new topic. Never too late in the week to start learning something new. And we thank you for joining us along this Torah journey. And we continue davening for Chayle Tzvagana Yisrael, for Shlomo Lechol Patsuei Yisrael, safe return of our hostages. And our learning is dedicated in memory of Saren Daniel Shimon Ben Harav Durang V'Shalei Yashem Yikum Damo. So the next topic that we have is Midine Kriyasa Torah, the laws of Torah reading. So first, as usual, before getting to the halacha, Rav Malamed discusses the philosophy behind the mitzvah, Takana Sakriya Batorah. Mitzvah's Talmud Torah, he mitzvah yisodit. The mitzvah of studying Torah is a fundamental mitzvah. It's a foundational mitzvah. Shekol she'ar ha-mitzvah's tuliyos that all the other mitzvahs that we have are dependent upon it. Torah. The Torah never established a set time for studying Torah. But rather, it's a mitzvah to study Torah at all times because the Pasuk says in Yehoshua, You shall delve into the Torah, you shall be a part of it all day and all night. So in order to make some sort of framework that we can establish the connection of the Jewish people to the Torah. So Moshe Rabbeinu established that we would have to read Torah, what we call laning, on Shabbos and on Mondays and Thursdays in the morning. So that you should go no more than three days without Torah. Amr Chachamim, Chazal tell us, it's Gemara and Bava Kama, Pasuk in the end of Parashas B'Shalach tells us that they went three days in the desert and they couldn't find water. So Moshe Rabbeinu and his disciples and the Zakanim and the prophets, they all understood He understood that the thirst for water was caused because three days in a row, three continuous days, the Jewish people were not in any sort of public Torah atmosphere. And the Torah is compared to water. Because nothing can survive, nothing can grow, nothing can live without water in this world. So too, our neshama, our soul cannot live without Torah. And once they detach themselves, even a little bit from Torah, so that means that the actual physical water stopped flowing. So it seems that the Torah scholars of that generation, they learned from those three days. So some people study Torah, maybe the people that had more education studied Torah during that period in the Midbar, but the Jewish people as a whole, as a tzibor, did not. So therefore it was established that we should read Torah publicly on Monday, Thursday, Shabbos, so that we will never have three continuous days that the Jewish people will have no public reading of the Torah. Ezra HaSofer, Hosef Itikain. So the Gemara tells us that Ezra HaSofer, he added to this Takana, that on Mondays and Thursdays we should have three people called up to the Torah. And each will add, have a reading of at least three Psukim. Again, the Gemara tells us in Bavakama that every Aliyah is at least three aliyah, is three psukim, and we should always read at least ten psukim. There's only one minor exception to that, which anyone has the answer to that. It's a great, great trivia question. There's only one time the entire year we have a contained Torah reading that is nine psukim and not ten psukim. And maybe you'll get free bonus points if you can write in the answer. And the question why it's allowed, it's a tosfus in Megillah, that answers that question, already I gave you a bit of a clue, but see if you can find out an answer, and then we know also exactly the reason why that is different than the rest of the Torah readings that we have. And we also should add that we have additional Torah reading on Shabbos, Mincha, which is found in that Gemara as well. But three days, Monday, Thursday, 
Shabbos, Shabbos Mincha. You can't go three days without Torah. And of course, we have other Torah readings that come up, as we'll see. But we'll see some of these halachos as we go on in the laws of Kriyas Torah, which would last us, let's see, this chapter is nine sections, so we have a few days, and then we go on and on as we're getting closer and closer to Yom Adin. But these are very, very important halachos, which we need to learn as we daven regular each and every day. But till then, I hope everyone has a peaceful and restful Shabbos ahead. Please continue to daven Israel. For Shlemel Chopetzuei Yisrael. Safe return of our hostages. A warning dedicated memory of Daniel Shem and Ben Harav Garon Damo. Again, Shabbat Shalom, and we'll see you here next week.